because I remember Sir George from All Nations Club and there was a whole, right. all the clubs in Hackney as well. Well, Sir George well, is my dad. So my dad's name is George Brightley. And Bob Elliott, who owned All Nations, him and my dad was close friends. So when Bob's first, and Bob used to be a boxer, and my dad used to be in that boxing scene as well. So when Bob said he was going to open a club, and he says, boy, George, you have to come start it off for me. So my dad actually started All Nations with Bob Everett. Because my dad had different clubs right through. So he had 007, which used to be the old Cubis. So he had four aces, then ran the corner 007, and then came All Nations and all the other clubs. So my dad started off All Nations with, and we, he, he played there for years, every year, you know what I mean? He played there for a very, very long time and then we stopped and then I ended up going playing back there in the 80s. Um, so yeah, we, we were very, and Bob was part of the family, so. And when you think of all the nightclubs in the area, you had Phoebe's, that was Vin. Um, so all them men was friends and then the kids, or the children of them men, was also friends. So you find that um, Bernie went to school with Lance, which was Vincent. I went to school with Carlton with a Hackney Dance. So we was always in and out of each other's business, sound business, music business, and you know, just the promotion well. And what was it like during that kind of period during the black people coming around from all around London and mm. the country coming to Hackney, hearing these different sounds, well, a lot of blues, shebeens, parties here? Yeah. That time, you know what I mean, and I can talk from the 60s, Hackney was the hub. I believe Brixton would have been a hub for South, but Hackney was the hub for, call it North London or North East London. So you found, um, you had people in Holloway, Finsbury Park, Tottenham, Leighton. And the thing about it, people went to Leighton was the ones that we were actually found moving out. So the Leighton, there wasn't a lot of black people in Leighton in the beginning. It's only until the 70s people started to move up to Leighton where they were saying, well, it's nicer houses. Everything was in Stoughton, Hackney, and each area had their local sound system who had their local blues dances. Now, my dad used to supply drinks because we always had a shop. We had an off-license and we had a wholesaler. So for all these blues dances, my dad was supplying them. So me and my brother, again, had to be going around lifting cases of long life beer, baby sham, cherry bee, whiskey, you know what I mean, carrying all these things into these houses. And we could gauge who was the better sound by how many cases of um, long life they drank and how many cases of top of the pops, you know, top pops, right, the soft drink. So, you know what I mean, like, you had Count Shelley, you know what I mean? Or when he came in the scene, there was like 25 cases of long life, 30 cases of long life. But then you would have somebody like Fugitive who would sell 15 cases of top pops because he had a younger crowd. So, you, you know what I mean, everybody came down into this area and then on the bank holidays you would have the big special dances in the town halls and the bigger fans who could play in a town hall would be there. But, my, you know, I mean, it was very interesting and for us as young children, it was like life. You saw all different people and as children respected the adults, the, the adults respected children who had manners. So if you had manners, you said, boy, what a, what a nice child. You have manners, da, 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 da. And you, you know, that's how it was. And that is what really carried us all the way through. How did the music, how did you, 